Stuart grew up in Ireland, the youngest of four brothers. He was that playful little puppy. He enjoyed, and he was also a cute looking. And I loved dressing him up. We had lots of fun. Stuart had his pony and took his pony up the mountain. Action man. Action man, exactly. Full, full of fun, always on the go. And he had the older brothers, so he was obviously just copying them. You know, what they did, he, he tried to do. It made him very outgoing, because he got a lot of confidence from having three older brothers. Stuart hasn't been back to Ireland since his accident. It's difficult for him to fly because of his ventilator, but he's determined to make the trip. Just the other day, I invested in a mobile hoist, so a hoist that just breaks down and is quite small um, and allows you just to pop it into a car, pop it into the back of the van. Um, it, uh, it pretty much blocked my credit card when I went to uh, join the AA or just take some money out the other day. It was like, uh -uh, you've gone over your limit, so it was quite expensive, uh, but it was worth it. He's driving to Wales with his mum and three carers, then taking the ferry to Ireland. It's a huge challenge and has taken weeks of planning. Uh, Mum, yeah. Mum, could you have me, just hand me the replanner there, the one that's been printed off? So we've a full replanner there. OK, so it says here, just, just bring it up, just like it's in. Up quite higher. Start it somewhere up I'm calming down a bit. Did you? Oh. People say, oh, you're nervous. Or they all just died to see us. It was great to arrive home and um, just relax, I suppose, then. Um, um, what else would you say about home, I suppose? Um, It's probably really nice to be out there with my family and just relaxing us, but it'll be emotional for them, I think. It's not like for me, I don't, I'll, I'll be fine, I think. Hi, guys. For my... His brother and his wife have popped in to say goodbye. Can you push it over? I'm pissing off. What are you going to do? I'm falling over this way, it's annoying. Over just, way? just shove my back, just shove me the whole way. No, 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 no my body? shoulders. My shoulders are shoved. Just no, push it over. Just down. Yeah, okay. Just down. Like that? Yeah. Have a great time. Yeah, thank you. And take the points for me. Give it a lumber. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. And both of you look after each other. Yeah. Did you take the Lacoste stuff? I know it's just the hour. Yeah, I didn't turn it. But you can, we can't take everything. So oh, yeah, you've, no. you've got everything. Okay. Less is more, less yeah, is more. Yeah, I know, but it's just in choices of different things. But you, you I have, have enough. I have a whole bag for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just less, 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 less. Just less. Yeah. Less yeah, and we'll keep... No, nobody, nobody's expecting anything. No. Right? So just expecting me to be there. I could be wearing that, but just a plain T-shirt. So do you want water before you go to... No, no, no. Ready to go. Right. So, Kurt, 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 Kurt. So have a great... Um, Thank you. I'll be on the front here a lot, because I'll be in Paris. I'll be a bit freer than I have yeah. been. Yeah. When, when do you finish in Paris? Friday. Friday. There's also... Oh, careful. Just sort of left a bit. Yeah, keys will be down Friday. No. So here we so, go. So, so turn right to Ireland. Yeah. yeah. There we go. So yeah. 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 Stuart grew up in Fermoy, near Cork. The journey's taken 31 hours, but he's finally home. Well, turn, turn. Where, where are you going, by the way? OK, point towards the door. Straight. Go dead straight. Straight forward. 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 And right. Right. No, Francis, when I say right, turn like, no. 
two or three faces afterwards. Come back, come back. Put me, put me at the table, as if I was eating at the table, right? Yeah, it was pretty emotional. I was, I wasn't, uh, you know, you wasn't tears rolling down your face or anything, but you, you still, you just, you know, you looked, and you saw the hedgerows, and you saw the your neighbors' houses, and you went by and remember, it, you know, riding in fields or going for runs along the a road, um, and the golf course as well. You remember, it, you know, playing on the golf course. Um, but it felt really nice. It felt that you know. I suppose it was a big achievement as well, thinking, you know, remembering when I was lying in bed in Stanmore and now I'm coming up the hill to come home. It's, um, you know, it's a sense of back to normality, uh, which, was, which was great. Well done. Can we speak? Uh, yeah, yeah, two. Hey, how are you? I like to talk to you, it's so like all you. Since his accident, friends in his hometown have offered enormous support. The family have invited some of them over for lunch so that everyone can catch up with Stuart. Very good. Yeah. thing is, you have to check the pressure of the air every single day. I have one at home. I suppose the main support I get comes from my family, and it's been been very, very hard on them to their life. You know, my life changed on the 5th of April last year, but theirs did too. And uh, I'm very grateful for all the support they received too from, from their friends and from others. Your nails are lovely, Stuart. I wish mine were as nice as that now. Being at home is bringing back memories of growing up. I used to ride it ever since I was 12 up to when I was even through college or through university. Now I'll have to invent something, invent some sort of a mechanism to to be able to to ride. I don't know how, how it might work, but I'd have to be able to hold me back so I wouldn't fall forward, and then some way that it would stop me falling back. So it's presumed there'd have to be a tie somewhere on my chest. I'm going to go down into, into the field of the course. You want to go into the field, well, Dad, would you take, he wants to go into the field with the horse, would you take him out the back? Okay. Mm -hmm. Go on. That's it, let's go, keep on. Keep on. Left, go left, left, that's it. I'll just leave me there. Hello, how are you? I used to have jumps all around here. Yeah. Oh. I think she knows she's not that right, man. Unfortunately, I can't, I can't react if, <laughs> if she grabs my arm. So dad kind of, dad doesn't protect me. I'd say if he left me here for long enough, she'd just ignore me completely. She'd, she'd have had enough. So take my shoe away with you. You know, you'd be opening the shoes in a minute, I know, wouldn't you? Just Very interesting, aren't right? you? Yeah. I think it's. Yeah. Uh, 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 thank you. That's exactly what I, I didn't want. Don't want. And we leave her alone. And that used to be covered. And the bees, you used to have to run through it, and the bees, and they'd try and sting you. You can make it. It's been 14 months since his accident, and he's keen to make the most of his time at home. Where do you want to clear up, 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 up? There's what we used to run up in our shorts. Straight up. Kept it like in really good neck. Drive over to the pier. We used to stand up on top of the railings and then dive off into the water. It was really scary though because diving off the lower part of the ridge was okay, 
when you were young, and then you went up onto the first bar, and then you went on the second bar, you were like, I'm terrified. And your brother's like, come on, don't be scared. <sighs> into the water. Further over there, I used to um, ride across through the woods with my pony, and then down to the, the tracks, tie them up, and then go for a swim. Don't throw me off. Turning sideways, oh, looking, looking out. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. No. Okay. Our summers were so um, packed with fun but between riding horses and finishing the evening and wash them down, put them out in the field, and then say, OK, come on, let's go up to the reservoir. We'd jump in the car and drive over. Oh, well, the boys are in swimming. It's so amazing, though, because the, the angle of the rock at the side, it just goes straight down. When you dive in, you'd swim, you'd go, oh, my God, it's freezing. And your feet would be freezing, but your shoulders would be really warm because the top of the water is really warm. But deep, anyway, a foot below the water, and it's, it's freezing. Is it warm? Sorry? Is it warm? No. It's freezing. We used to do that when, when we go sailing, we'd have... Um, you pull into a nice bay and you say, oh, OK, come on, let's dive off the boat, just into the sea, and you go, oh, beautiful, oh, it's so nice. And people go, is it, like, is it nice? What, what, what's the water like? Oh, beautiful. God, the sun's been shining all day. Come on in, and you turn around and you, you swim away, and then you just hear, ah, and scream of, like, freezing. And you go, ah. Oh. But they, they delighted to be in the water anyway. <laughs> 